Hi, everybody. I can't see you or hear you, so I wonder if you could just show yourselves and just, I mean, how can I see? I can't see anybody at the moment. Hello. Hi. Morning. D. Maybe uh, Morning. you could switch um, your view onto um, gallery view, DB, and then you'll be able to see uh, all the participants. Thank you. I have a, yes, uh, gallery view. Okay, I'll get that so slowly. Uh, gallery view. Oh, how the heck, where do I get that one from? In the top right of your screen, there'll be a view. Um, I know that should be. Uh, from there, speaker, gallery, full screen. Zoom. Yeah, there is no gallery screen. I, I, I can't see that here. I'm going to be communicating. Well, I'm going to be introducing you to a bit of what's called envirosomatic method, which my teacher, who was a Scaravelli trained. But anyway, he set this up and, uh, well, it'll come clear as we go through that enviro means the environment somatic is the body so it's it's our touch the space the earth anyway so it'll come clear what that's about uh but could anybody could any of you just tell me how you are and what we, what your body needs this morning what you think you need what you need is it your neck is it your lower back is it you you don't have to but just a little bit about your body. If we're back ahead, Mother Brandu, and I would say my neck would really appreciate some. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Neck and shoulders. Neck and shoulders, yes. Well, the way we do this yoga, by working on one part of the body, it will affect the others, but I'll definitely bear, because I've got that as well, the neck and shoulders. Thanks, Steve. Anybody else? Dharma Bandu, it's Vajra Shraddhar here. <laughs> um, yeah, neck and shoulders. I did some damage to my rotator cuff on my left side, sh left shoulder, quite a few years ago now. And I'm noticing that um, with the extra body work that I'm doing over February with Biddlefield, that um, that it's aggravating it slightly. So, uh, well, I don't know about aggravating it, but there's something happening in that area. So I would appreciate yeah, anything that can help with that. Yes, okay. Great, Pedro Shred, I will try and, well, we will incorporate that in somehow. Yeah, thanks. Anybody else got any bodily things that I need to know, any aches or pains, or they'd like to work in any area. Just show yourself if you want. Otherwise, I'll just leave without knowing what you, how your body is, but that's okay. Okay. Well, at any point you can unmute and just show you, say how, you, how you're getting on, or if you need any, help in any area otherwise I can't really see you I can just see myself at the moment but that's all right uh, I'll just get on and lead the class with particular a little bit of awareness of the neck and the shoulder uh, let me think what can we okay we'll do something called the eagle pose in a minute but I just want to say to everybody, this particular form, it's not about achieving asana. It's not about achieving posture. Yeah, we use postures or they can be used. But the main thing is to find relationships through the, the body, through contact, through touch, through space. It's about becoming more conf confluent and... Uh, finding relationships who's that at home with the elements i would need to 
yeah, I don't know. I didn't see all the message. I just saw a little bit. Sorry, uh, DB. It was just a, a, a uh, just to mention that to to get to gallery view on on the phone, you just swipe across your screen, and it'll bring on the whole gallery view. If that helps, see see if that's you better go. Swipe from right to left. Ha 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 ha! Got you. Well, I've got four. I can see four of you now. That's good. Thank you. Lovely. Enjoy the practice, everyone. Yes. How about you, Romy? Have you got any particular things in your body, or are you pretty okay? It would be nice to get some spaciousness in the chest and yeah. the sides, shoulders. Okay. <laughs> Oh, we, but we're all working up here, aren't we? That's why that's one of the areas. Great. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Right. Let's think then how we're going to start here. Uh, what we're going to start, we'll just start on our backs to start off. Or, or how, how's people, do you, do you want to get into stretching or do you want to ground bit first? How long is the session, Dharma Bandu? It's either an hour and a quarter. Yeah, hour and a quarter. Is, is that all right? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah, is that okay? Why don't you just lead it however you want to get into it? <laughs> yeah, I will do. I will do. I'm putting too much on you, aren't you? Aren't I? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I, okay. Um, sorry, I go have to go at uh, around 25 past because I yeah, have a class. Okay. Is it every time I go into my computer, it's fixed on Anderson? It's just, I can't remember, I don't know why my computer. But you can rename it. I have every single time I open Zoom, it goes back to Anderson. I open it. Okay, well, we'll just get on with it while whatever's going on. Okay, Rummy, just leave when you need to. Hi, Tim. So just leave them when they want to, that's fine. Okay, I'm not going to say no more. Let's just lay down on our backs and come down on your back nice and steady don't just plonk yourself lay yourself down yeah nice and steady like you're just coming into your lovely bed or your look and really nuzzle in and feel the softness of the mat and the softness of your body becomes sensitive to your touch and really just roll around and make yourself happy. This is what we call it. We just roll around, just do whatever you need to do to roll around. You might want to raise your knees up. You might want to stretch, but just really, Roll around and make yourself happy. What is your body wanting this morning? From, yeah. Okay, good. You might just want to stroke your face or massage your face around your eye. I, I mean, I'm just doing what my body's asking me. It wants me to massage my, my eyes, to relax my face, my scalp. So you can just massage your scalp. Yeah. So basically, um, I'm just there. Just so just stay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> massage oh, no, 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 go on. Uh, what time? So you uh, <laughs> um, could you leave by? And whoever's oh, talk, can everyone okay. put themselves on mute? We can leave by. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'll finish it. Like, I think it finishes like half past 11. Can we go on mute, please? Okay, so one -ish, we will leave for a walk. Then we would aim to get there for 2.30. Danny, you're not on mute. And then we would come back.
Okay, go on mute. That's all right. Good, that's good. Okay, so we're on our backs. What I'd like us to do now is just raise your knees. Uh, well, not so much raise your knees. Bring your feet close to your buttocks and press so really close so you're nearly touching your bum and press down through the front and, and slightly turn the heels outwards so your knees just gently come closer to each other press through the fronts of your toes spread your toes and then put your hands behind your head hold your head so you're like clasping your head and then press through your toes and that should take your back along the mat a bit so you're you're still holding of your head and then just gently place your head back on the mat really touch with the back of your head and then push your buttocks will probably off the ground if you've really pushed through if they're not just press through the feet again so your bum comes off the ground your hips come off the ground and then gently place your pelvis hips back down and in this yoga we're not going to stretch the back of the neck or the, we don't tuck under, we don't stretch the back of the neck or the, the base of the spine. We, we, we look for the natural curves. So there's probably a nice curve in your lower back, a nice curve on your neck. And just be aware of your feet, your tummy, and your feet have got two parts to it. You've got the front of the foot, and you've got your heel. Your heel is separate to your foot. Your heel is like the hoof of an animal. It's there, it's slept separate. So well, that's fine, it's all part of the same body, but just press through the toes again, spread the toes. And you might notice that makes your belly just sink down when you press through the foot. Then I want you to raise your hands in the air directly above you. And then just kind of, with you, you know, you should just kind of bring them back to it. Nuzzle your shoulders, really bring your shoulders, give a little nuzzle so they come closer to the head a little bit. So, yeah, you're nuzzling your shoulders. And then clasp the hands and place the heels of the thumb on your forehead as your hands come down. So you've got your thumb heel, if you like what to call the heel of your thumb, on your forehead. And you're just clasping your hands. And your elbows are pointing upwards to the sky. So in this form of yoga, this envirosomatic method, we really connect to our touch. And the first condition is make touch equal. So you might notice your shoulders are a bit more heavier than your head. So then just press a little bit more weight through the back of your head or through your palms of your hands and, and so your shoulders become a little bit lighter. So your head and your shoulders are equal. Then press down through your feet into the ground a little bit, and that will make the hips a little bit lighter. So it's called make touch equal. So we're trying to find the equality, the same pressure through the feet, through the hips, through the shoulders and through the back of the head. And breathe.
And what this does, it allows the spine to be more fluent, more fluent. It's, you know, you're not just, not just flopping back. It's a bit lighter, allows more movement. So breathing in and out. So yeah, we make touch equal. That's the first condition. The second condition is what we call space, connecting to space. So just be aware of the space underneath your body, on the neck, lumbar region, on your knees, behind your knees, under your feet, the middle of your feet. Spread your toes, space between your toes. And breathe into all these parts. So breathe in behind the head, behind the neck, behind the lumbar. Breathe and breathe into the lumbar. Breathe into your back, into your neck, into your feet. Let the breath come in through those areas. You know, they touch those areas and the breath touches all these areas. And let the breath touch the sides of your body, all up and down the length of your sides, and along the top of your body, from the feet all the way up the legs to the knees, and the knees are reaching up to space, or in space, the pelvis. You might notice your abdomens. Sort of hollow or beneath. Then out breath. On the front of the chest and the face. Crown. And we're going to be using the earth to breathe. So as we breathe in, just allow the earth to breathe you. and let space breathe you. So we're like a planet. We're on the planet, well, we are on the planet, on the earth, connected to the cosmos, to space. So the earth breathes and the space breathes in. And the earth, as the earth breathes, it breathes up through you. And as the earth exhales, you just drop down into the earth, but stay connected to yourself. So the earth breathes in into your body, through you and you, and the cosmos breathes down into you. And as the earth, as you breathe out, or as the earth breathes out, stay connected to the earth, don't let go, but it will just fall away. You stay connected. Now I want you to just push or just allow your hands to stay connected and just to float up. Words keep keep connected through the. They're still holding each other and point the. Palms upwards. You might want to look at me at some point just to see how I'm doing it. And I'm breathing in, I'm pushing down through the feet and the hands are just... And let the breath do it. So you breathe in and as you breathe out, the hands come up. Then as you breathe out, the hands come up. Push away, breathe in and out. And just stay there. Imagine there's this weight pressing down 
you're, you're actually holding the weight of your body with your arms and your hands. And that should take you into your core. And we're going to do the, well, what we're going to do now is we're going to press through the feet, especially the fronts of the feet. And we're going to, then we're going to just push the knees away towards our feet as we breathe in and breathe out. So we, we, we push on the exhalation. So we breathe in and the knees are just rolling away from us. Breathe in. As we breathe out, the knees are just moving towards the feet. And you'll notice probably that your spine just comes up by its belt, your hips come up. You're not having to lift your hips there because your knees are pushing away. If you're connected to the earth, your hips and your pelvis will just right come up. And do it on the out breath, breathe in and out. So do everything on the out breath, move on the out breath. Okay, then just gently lower your hips again, let it touch the ground. And we're going to do that once more. I mean, it's, it's called the, well, we don't, we don't even worry about what they're called. We're not going to go into what the postures are called. So just come back down again, feel the connection with the earth, relax. Just relax, let go. Clasped hands on the forehead, just pressing down. Make touch equal again, down through the back of the head. Press down with the feet, make touch equal. Just breathe in and out. Connect to the space around you, all around you. Breathe into the whole of the body from the air. So the air breathes in, comes up through you, and it breathes out. You just it falls away from you as it breathes out, but you stay connected to your self. And once more, we're gonna breathe in, and as we breathe out, we're just gonna press down with the feet. Fronts of the feet, especially not the heels, the fronts of the feet. And that might just start lifting your hips off the ground. Don't force it. Don't try and lift. Just press through the feet and then gently let the knees move towards the feet as you breathe out. Just breathing in. And then the exhalation, just let the heel, sorry, let the knees roll away towards the feet. And you can let the hands come up again like before, pushing this weight up. And you can even now pull with both hands down into your shoulders. So you're pulling towards you, into you as well as pushing the knees away and the hips are coming up. So yeah, don't try and use the hips. Let, let the knees take your hips up. Okay, just then gently let your hips float back down. You can let go of your hands and just stay there. And at any point you can look at me, if, you know, just to see what I'm doing. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna let the feet spread out. So just let the knee flop to the side, one knee flop to the side, and, and then just push the, the heel away and keep the heel connected to the ground. So we're just lengthening now but we keep connected with the heel on the ground. And then we can gently let the hands just 
rest on the chest maybe and then gently come down and just relax. Just breathe. And as the air breathes, it breathes into your body. Cosmos breathes into your body. And it breathes out. And you just breathe with the air from the cosmos. Relax. Okay, we're just gently going to come out of that. So bring your knees back up. So get, well, you just bring your feet towards you. Do everything really mindfully, steadily. Don't strain your body or your back. You know, just take it. And don't force anything to your body. Listen to what it's telling you. And then we're going to roll over to the right or well, at either side. So we're gently going to come up. But we come up nice and steady. We roll over. And when we're ready, we can push ourselves up, roll up. But don't force. And then we're going to do a child pose, I know you all know that, but the way we do this is come nice and stay. Place the hands on the mat. We're gonna gently circle with the hips. We're gonna come down like a bee landing on a flower. We're not gonna flop. So come down slowly, perhaps you're gonna put your forearms down, your elbows down. Breathing. So, yeah, we're just letting the body settle down in its own time. It might take a long time. If any, if any of this is, you're struggling with the, your body, just, just do what you need to do. Yeah, you don't force it. But you might want to, you know, just move the body and let the hips, the neck, you know, so you're just gently circling round and nuzzling into the mat. Slowly the spine is relaxing and lengthening. Don't hold your head. Let your head relax. Just let your head flop. Put your arms out in front of you. I should have said this, sorry. Hands out in front. You know, but it's you find it's all about your exploring your body and your relationship through your body to the earth to space around you you're just it's your yoga not mine you know that don't worry well, you know that so we're just exploring what's working and slowly you might find that you can put your head on the ground maybe you can so maybe support your head on your hands on your, you know, fold your hands together. Just come down as much as you can or want to. Or are able to. So just adjusting yourself, your body as it comes down. Like a bee landing on a flower. Hands out in front. Palms facing down. Relax the head and the neck. Relax your shoulders. And allow the earth to breathe. And the earth breathes up through the legs, through the arms, through the head, into your body. The cosmos breathes down from above. And as the earth breathes out, it falls away, but you stay connected to your touch and to your inner core. Breathe, the earth breathes in through you, through your knees, through your arms, through the palms of your hands, through your head. 
you know, as, as it breathes out, you breathe out with it and it falls away, but you stay connected to the air, connected through your body. And then relax, just relax in this pose as much as you would like or can. I'm bringing my arms towards me now, so my hands are alongside my head. And then I'm gently going to push through my palms. And that's going to take me up into a kneeling posture. Again, it's just an exploration. You're exploring your body. You're exploring your connection to the air. Okay, so just rest your hands on your knees. Find a nice comfortable place with your feet. You might want to fold one foot over the other if that's. And touch with through your hands, put some pressure through your hands up into your shoulders so that you're almost well, you, you are supported through your hands. So you're supported through your knees and your feet, but now your upper half of your body from the pelvis upwards is also being, your spine is being supported by your hands on your knees through the heels of your palms. And just, you might want to just move your head a little bit. Just feel your neck, the back of your neck, your head. Just resting. You might want to do a few movements, looking to the left and the right. But go really steadily. Don't force any movements. And really keep connected through the palms of the hands, through the heels of the hands, through up through the arms, through the elbows, up to the shoulders. Just breathe and as the earth breathes, it breathes up into you. And as the earth breathes out, you just follow it down, but stay connected to your body, your, the centers in your body, the energy centers of the crown, the crown, the top of the head, the crown, forehead, throat. And just keep your throat open. Allow your throat to be open. Allow your shoulders just to gently peel, your shoulder blades just to peel down your back. Keep connected through your palms. Up into the shoulders. And then just do a few circles with the shoulders. Circular movements. And punch your shoulders up to your head, to your neck. And then just relax and let your shoulders just sink down, but keep connected through your hands, as it were, the, through the arms, through the elbow. Great, okay, that's good. Well, we could just stay here all day, couldn't we? <laughs> but we won't. <laughs> what we'll do now is we'll uh, put our hands down flat on the mat again. 
place your hands down on your mat and really look at your hands and, and let your hands touch the mat. Don't flop them down, plonk. Just look at the and look at your wrists. Make sure your wrists are not strained. So I'm in now like on all fours. I've got my knees down and I've got my toes touching the mat. So keep connected through the toes. Let your toes touch the mat. Let your knees touch the mat. Really pour down the weight through your knees. That should then allow your body to sort of come up, bend upwards. A bit like, okay, I'll mention the word, the cat. But don't do it like you've always done it. So you're letting the weight pour down through your knees, through your toes. Your hands are just resting on the mat. You're in this bow shape. And then we will do the sort of what's called a cow, but it doesn't, you know, just let the spine soften. Keep the neck relaxed, the head relaxed. Don't, don't hold your head up. Just let the head really re relax. Might want to flop down as you come down a bit. The earth breathes in through you and look up through the back of your head to the ceiling with your eyes, with your eyes. And that should gently then Initiate a movement to come up as you're looking up through the crown of your head and then pour down through the knees, through the toes, perhaps a bit of weight through the arms, through the hands, the palms of the hands. In what sometimes they call the cats, don't they? But really explore, it's your body exploring your touch. And then breathing out and perhaps once more, just allowing the spine to soften. Perhaps it will sink down, lower down. Don't hold the head, don't hold the neck. Let it just come down, arms like them. The earth's breathing in, and this time as it breathes in, you just look up through the crown of your head, breathing in, and then breathe out as the earth moves away, but you might just want to push down through the earth with your knees, with your toes. And come up again. Okay, we're still on all fours. Now, I'm going to mention the word the dog because some of you know perhaps what the dog pose is, but don't do the dog like you've always done it. We're going to do the dog in a minute, but first of all, let's just come back onto the feet again. Sorry, onto the feet, onto the legs. We're just going to come back into our sitting on the knees, or what's it called that? I'm just gonna take a minute, just coming back to ourselves. Just really experience your body. What's it telling you? What does it want? How is your neck? So, as I said, in this pose, we had the hands definitely touching the thighs. They're on the thighs, they're touching the thighs, and they're finding support through the palms, through the wrists, up through the elbow, into the shoulders.
So we're taking the weight of the upper part of the body off the neck and the head. Earth breathes in, up through you, into you. Space breathes in and then as they breathe out, they just come into you. If anybody of you have got bad wrists or difficult wrists, you can just bring the first finger and the thumb together and just press through the first finger and the thumb. And if you're having trouble with your wrists, I, I do. I had an accident. I fell 30 foot when I was a 21-year-old sailor and smashed my foot up and the whole spine and body and wrists. And that's what's brought me back to the yoga. A need to heal my body. So yeah, if you're having wrist problems, press through the first finger and spread the other fingers out. So spread the other fingers spread out. Each, just look at me, Tim. That's it. Spread your finger. Touch the first two, like that. Just like you one thumb, first finger, and the other fingers spreading out. Yeah, you're just holding the thumb and the first finger together. I, I can't quite see you, Tim. Are you doing that? Are you? That's it, mate. You've got it. Yeah, I'm just ready. That's good. Okay, so that's for a wrist. That's for a wrist. Okay, we're going to do, we're going to come into the dog pose, but come in differently to what you've normally done. So I want to put our hands back out in front of us. Palms on the mat, come onto your knees, onto your feet, so your toes are pressing down, your knees are pressing down, and just look at your hands, and your hands are not heavy, they're just touching, they're opening, there's openness in there, perhaps touch with the heel of the thumb. But the way we're going to do it, we're going to pour the Weight through the knees again, down into the knees. That should bring you up a little bit through the toes and get yourself ready. Just and then just roll forwards, move forwards a little bit and back a little bit. Just see that your spine is flexible and ready to move. So we're not going to push down hard with anything. Breathe in. Through the air, the air breathes in and you move back and getting ready just to take the, we're going to roll the heels back. I'm not sure if you saw how I did that, but perhaps, perhaps, you, perhaps you're already quite used to this, but just watch me as, as I do this. I'm sure you've got your own method of doing it. But what I did on all fours, pull the weight through the knees, just allow it to come down through the, the toes, the tips of the toes. Then I'm just moving back and forward a little bit, just to check that I'm fluid and the spine can move. Then I'm going to Pour down through my knees again, through my toes, and I'm just going to roll back. I'm not pushing through my hands at all. There was no weight through my hands. It all came through. Do it once more. Got so my hands are nice and loose here, just touching. The weight's coming through the knees, through the toes. Moving back and forward so I feel connected through the spine. Breathe in, the earth breathes in, and as it breathes out, I just move back. Something like that. Okay, if you just like to, that's right, relax your head, Tim. No, don't, don't, don't look at me now anymore. That's fine, mate. Keep your head relaxed. 
you just might want to move the backs of your legs a little bit just to you you know just keep your head down tender don't try and hold through that's fine mate just okay just gently come down again that's it nice and steady don't flop just nice and gentle Okay, so that was one way of doing the dog. I mean, you've, we've all got our own different ways of doing it. I'm gonna show you one other way I did the last time. And come onto your sort of meditation pose. Then come onto your knees. Well, you might just wanna watch me. We're just, I'm just gonna show you another way of going up into dog, which you might find helpful. Okay, and I've got my knees going down, got my feet touching my mat through the tips of my toes and I just watch this because I'm, I'm going to breathe in as I breathe in I tip my hands up breathing in and as I breathe out I push forwards but I, I do it with a breath it's called a seat carry breathe in seat I'll do it a couple of times But I'm not pushing like that. I'm pushing in, in one way. And at the same time, I'm taking the weight back into my shoulders. So I'm pushing slightly, but I'm also pushing or coming back. I'm feeling the resistance. And one more thing before we do it. I'm going to stick my tongue out. I'm going to open my eyes. I'm going to go. You might want to just watch me. I'm going to, okay, I'll, I'll do it facing you, yeah, then you can see me. So from here, I'm going to breathe in, see, <laughs> sticking my tongue out, opening my eyes, and I just take my hands down. I'll do it once more, show you, see, <laughs> okay, I'll do it this side once more, on my knees. Tip toes down, pull the weight down, breathe in, seat. Okay, you can try that if you like. It's just a little trick, but you don't have to get too caught up in it. It's a little trick of just coming up quite quickly. Well, so you have to see how you find it. Okay. And for those yogis amongst us, we'll do it once more in your own way, or I won't try and trick it. Don't, I won't do the trick. I'm just going to come once more. So, no, tell you what, what we'll just do, we won't be caught once more. We'll just come into the pose of the child again. Relax the back. You might find this time you can get down much quicker, much easier. But circle round, just well, I can come down much easier this time because of my body's loosening up, it's getting warmer. It's And I'm gently going to push down through my palms of my hand and I'm going to come back. Just kneeling again. Just breathing. Let the earth breathe up through you. Let the cosmos breathe down through you, into you. Let your upper body become light. So from the, the waist down, you're rooted, but from the solar plexus, or even from the lower belly, your spine is just coming up, just wants to come up. Your palms are on your lap and you're supporting your shoulders through your arms. So your head is 
not hold. So you're not holding up with your shoulders. You're supported through your arms so your shoulders can just relax. And the shoulder blades will just slip down your back. The neck is just balanced, your head is balanced. Okay, good. Right. What we're going to do now is Once more, we're going to do a dog, a dog pose, and then from that, we're going to do a, a lunge. So I'll just show you. So, on the knees, on the tips of the toes, palms just pressing down lightly, spread the fingers. The other connection through the spine. Back up the head relaxed, the neck relaxed, breathe in, the earth breathes in. And as the earth breathes out, we just breathe out, we come up into the dark place. And then from here, I'm just going to come onto my hands and I'm just going to step forward into a lunge. And just rest. And then I'm going to go back to the dog. And let me step forward and lunge. And just try that in your own time. If it's working. Hi, Danny. Good, good to see you. Just be careful with it. You okay there, Tim? Um, yeah, yeah, just getting used to it. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to come out of that now. Wait, well, when you're ready, sorry, when you're ready in your own time. And I think we'll, we'll do some standing. So slowly standing up. If you're ready to, if you're not, do what your body's telling you it needs, yeah? Now, I can't see anybody's feet. That's okay. You can see my feet. So just have your feet shoulder width apart and just look at your feet and spread your toes and just move your toes up and down. And round, just bring them alive. I'll tell you what, even before we go any further, let's just work, let's do a bit of TLC to our feet. So we'll come back down to ground. And we're just going to look at our feet. Sorry, I, sh I should have done this first. But just if you watch me, I'm going to bring my foot to. So don't, uh, when your foot comes towards you, let your foot move. Curl your toes up sort of grabbing a, a nice flower, bring a nice flower through your, that you're grabbing or an orange and bring it towards you. 
yeah so we're not we're not pulling our foot but gr pick up a nice flower or a lovely orange or something through your feet you know you, so your feet are like got claws haven't they and then just bring it towards you yeah and then yeah bring your foot towards you that's right tim take your socks off mate you're gonna need uh, if you don't let me saying just we're gonna spread our toes so let's just give our foot a bit of massage and uh yeah because i've got no socks on perhaps all few of them got socks but just look at your foot and really massage your toes i hope you and uh anyway but they have toes are toes aren't they feet are feet just spread the toes massaging and we're going to the, the, the as i said the foot is separate to the heel so we're going to turn the foot one way and the heel the other just a slight massage there a slight movement of the foot and the heel and then we're going to spread the toes and just look at your toes really bring them alive and what I like doing is putting my fingers between each toe, creating a bit of space between each toe. Not sure if you can do that. But, uh, but I, I, I fell 30 foot when I was 21 and I landed on my right foot and I didn't really, I, I didn't get treated. I was at sea for five days before we got to port and uh, Panama Canal and, Anyway, they never set the bones, so the bones are uh, set wrong and uh, it's causing quite a lot of problems. So I'm learning to wake up. My, my feet are changing shape as I'm doing this yoga. But I really work with my feet in the tenth space between them. I never had any space between my toes before now, but now I've got space. <laughs> Okay, the, the other side. That's good, Danny. You've done this before. <laughs> uh, okay, so once again, pick up the orange or the flower with your other foot and bring, let your foot come towards you. Don't you go towards it yet. Yeah? Just bring it along. It comes towards you. <laughs> Danny enjoyed that, didn't you? <laughs> okay, and then we're just going to massage the feet. I can only see four of you, but that's okay at the moment. So. Lovely feet. Massage the toes between the toes. And then perhaps holding and turning the, as I going to say, that the, the foot is separate to the heel. The heel is like the hoof. It's the heel is what? Yeah, so you turn the foot one way. And the heel of the other. That's good. And then, if you can, try and get a finger between each toe. And they will eventually. So don't force, just to see what you can do. Bit of massage, bit of. And I bet your foot's really liking it, isn't it? Is your foot liking this? Are you liking it? <laughs> yeah, I am. Okay, great. Okay, before we seem as we've got ourselves down in this sort of sitting pose, we're just gonna sit cross-legged for a minute and again the way we do it Tim we bring the, the toes don't you don't don't use your hands to pull you I mean you can if you want but let your foot bring itself to you don't you pull it you know it, we we've got to find that by bringing the foot to us it's amazing when I started this yoga and, and, and we don't, in this particular style of yoga, we don't stretch. We bring the bones together, we bring the joints together. And when the, 
when we feel supported and connected, the body will relax in its own way. So I was so tight that it's only through bringing, you know, bringing different things that I've loosened up a bit. Okay, so we're just going to sit like this for a minute. Just uh, feel both sitting bones, are they equal? Are you sitting equally on both sitting bones? You might want to rest your hands or wrists or whatever on your knees. Just so you take the weight off your shoulders. This is what I find is the, for me is one of the best ways for my neck because I really damaged my neck. In fact, I never had a neck. Then the, all the spine, all the, the vertebrae went down. But you need to take the weight off the shoulders by pushing through the palms and the wrists up through the elbows up to the shoulders so that the the arms are taking the weight and the support of the upper spine or the spine rather I don't mean to say the upper spine so sitting like this or in meditation we, we're not flopping we're connected to the air through the feet. So perhaps put a bit of weight through your feet down into the air. So the feet are touching the air, the size of the feet maybe. Breathe in, and as you breathe in, or as the earth breathes, the earth breathes up through your feet, through your legs, through the, your roots, through your pelvis, into your sitting bones, up into the spine, the spine all the way up to the crown of your head, through the spine. And as I say, your hands are also pressing down a bit through into your knees or thighs so you're taking the weight off holding so you're not holding with your spine or your head or your neck so rather than holding your weight of the head with your neck you are allowing the shoulders to take some of the weight, the support. Breathing in with the earth and the cosmos. And as we breathe out, or as the earth breathes out, it falls away, but you stay connected to the air, connected through your heart, spine, through your solar plexus, through your roots, through your throat, your throat is nice and open. Third eye, mm -hmm. center of your forehead. And just look up through the crown of your head. Breathe in and look up through the crown of your head. Oh, sorry, through your eyes to the crown of your head. And it will bring some space in the throat. So you breathe in, look up through the eyes to the crown of the head, through the crown of the head. And as you breathe out, as the earth breathes out, you stay in the crown of your head, but your from the throat down relaxes.
to the root. Breathe in, the earth breathes in through you. Look up through the crown. Breathe out and it all sinks from the throat down. So the air sinks away and you stay in your body. Okay, good, it's gently. Rub your hands together, maybe. Just bring your fingers alive. Perhaps just stroke your face. Scalp further. And then gently we'll come out of that. Now I know this is not the meditation <laughs> class, but it's good to do <laughs> a little bit, isn't it? So this is a, you know, a lot of the yoga is to help us be able to sit more. Okay, so we'll do some standing now. So just steadily in your own way, come up and you hand your way that's going to support you. Keep connected as you come up. Feet shoulder width, just look at your feet now. Are they more alive? Hopefully they are. Your feet are more alive. Spread your toes. Come on to the fronts of the toes. So you're just balancing on the fronts of your toes now. The heels slightly off the ground. That's it, yeah. And it's important that we really do differentiate between the front of the feet and the heel. And that we bring the toes, the, the front of the feet alive. The heels are for standing, you know, for really resting through, but the front of the feet really need to be awake and strong. And bones and the body gets strong, not by doing exercise, not by muscles, but by the feet and the body gets strong by putting weight through uh, a joint, through the bones, the bones get stronger when you come through them. You can only show so much in one class, there's so much. Okay, so we're just standing, relax the shoulders. Let's have, let's have a little shake as well, just. I know we haven't done a lot of work on the shoulders yet, but let's stretch just to a little bit. Of... Circling. My teacher says, if you want to work on your neck, you put your hands behind your head. Grab, put one, the, the middle finger through your ear. So that's it, you put your fingers through your ear, grasp the back of your, sorry, I should show, be showing you. So you take this arm behind your head, the, the first finger and the thumb clasps the back of your neck, the, the middle finger can just touch the ear. So what this does, it just supports the neck to move a little bit. So you're, you're holding your neck with, with those two, two fingers. So rather than you moving your neck like that, you are actually holding your neck and head. Just move the head. And then the other side. This is just a little way, clasp neck, thumb through, and you can just move. It's just, I, I haven't got time to go into it. But did you know that your neck starts there? The neck is not just here. It starts way back down there. It's like the horse, you know, a horse has got a long neck. So our neck starts there. 
So be conscious of that, that, you know, your neck is not just this thing here. It's, it's this whole thing, you know, much further down. And we say a lot of the trouble with our neck and shoulders is the ribs, it's because the ribs are not alive. They're not awake. So, yeah, but, but it, it, the body changes not just by working specifically on an area. If, if I've got problems with my neck, it's not just my neck. It's the rest of my body. It's the relationship with my, yeah. Okay, that's another few things there. <sighs> okay, we're going to do a forward bend. So first of all, let's come into Tadasana again. Uh, standing pose, mountain pose, spread the toes, come onto the fronts of the feet. Come yeah, breathe in, come onto the toes. And as you breathe out, put the heels away from you and down, and then slowly just flop forward. But bend the knees, stick your bum behind you. So in a forward bend, don't come straight down, come down slowly, yeah, but just watch me a minute. So I'm not just gonna go straight down. I'll do that again. So what I did, come on my toes, spread my toes on my feet, take my heels back and down, and then just slowly bend, bend my knees, rest my forearms on my thighs, and slowly allow the spine to relax. But it needs to be supported, it won't, yeah. Okay. So we'll do it together. Tadasana. Standing. Relax your shoulders. Relax your neck. Standing firm. Really spread the toes out. Spread the heels behind you. So you really touching the earth. Let the earth breathe into you. Up through the middle of the feet, all the way up to the crown of the head. Cosmos breathing in, and as the earth, the earth breathes out, as you breathe out with it, the earth falls away. You stay connected to the earth, connected through your body. Do that another time, breathe in through the soles of your feet all the way up to the crown. And the cosmos is also breathing down through you. Breathe, the earth breathes out and you follow it down to your feet. Stay connected. And then we're gonna come on the toes a little bit. And then we're slowly going to put the heels back. They just gently touch the earth. And we just bend forwards. Take the bum back. Rest our hands on our knees. Our forearms on our thighs. Relax the back. And just gently let the back relax. And it'll lengthen in its own time. Don't force it to go down. Keep supported, keep breathing. And you might find the spine slowly relax and lengthen. Relax your neck. Breathe. And you'll find slowly the spine will soften and relax. You'll notice you're getting closer. I've still, I've still got bent knees. I'm not, and I'm now resting my chest on my thighs. And then I can touch the ground. I'm still supported. Breathe in, spread your toes. 
front of your feet and then gently touch your heels down and then you might be able to just take your backs of your legs mm. back. But again, in, in this, we're not trying to do a posture. It might happen slowly. I'm still supporting myself. I'm not let go yet. I can do when I feel that my spine is supported by my pelvis enough to let go. And then coming up, we're going to come into our toes again, onto our front of our feet, then we're going to Set the heels back again and down. And as we put the weight through the heels, we can gently uncurl. But we have to come down to the heels and then we can uncurl. But yeah, well, I'll just, just demonstrate. Oh, obviously you've perhaps got it but into the, so from here, front of the feet, it's when the heels go back and down, then you can come up because you're through the heels rather than coming up through the front of the feet. Back into the heels, then you can just build up. You can almost come up yourself. It'll, you'll almost be forced up if you've got it right. You just want to come up. <laughs> Did you get that, Pedro Shredda? Have you got that? Yeah? Good, good. Tim, you got that a bit? I can't, I can just see the four of you. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe if I do something like this, I can see the others of you. Yes, I can. Romy, you're still there. Dee's still there. At home with the element, she's still there. Great, we're all still here. That's good. Yeah, okay, well, it's 20 past 11 now. We've got 10 minutes. Hi, D. I hope all this is working for everybody. Good. Okay, well, we'll God, it's amazing how time goes, isn't it? Tim's still there, or he's come back. <laughs> Great. Okay, so we've only got 10 minutes. Let's think what we're going to do in 10 minutes. There's so much we could do. Check your feet again. Spread your toes. Don't lose connection to the earth. So this, this particular type of yoga or envirosomatic support is the main thing. That's the first condition, touch. Second condition is connection to space. And space is alive. It's, it's solid in a way, oh, it's new. So we have to feel the space. We can touch the space. And we can let the space come into us. It's a bit like Tai Chi or it's simmered, but the space is there. And it, when it supports us, well, that's the second condition. The third condition is come into the heart, into the breath, into the spine. But anyway, the first two conditions are earth, earth and space. There's so much information, as it were not, but it's not about that, it's experience. So just, okay, closing our eyes, come into your feet, front of your feet, spread the toes, come into your heels, just touch gently with your heels so that the whole of your body is standing. Just standing. Through the feet, feet flat on the ground. Do it once more, come into the front of the feet, toes, just come off your heels, spread the feet, spread the toes, open the toes. And then gently take your heel back and down. And yeah. So we're just standing. So this is a meditation, isn't it? Standing meditation. And you know that the body, the body's always moving. So if if you find yourself moving a bit, that's okay. It will always move. The body's always adjusting. It's balance. It's always moving. Regardless of what we do, we can't be, because it's always finding its 
connection in that. Okay, well, we've only got five minutes now, so we're going to sit down. Now we'll finish off by a little relaxation. So gently coming down. We'll finish as we started. In your own way, just nice and slowly. Find that connection. You okay there, Romy? <laughs> yeah, you look good. Okay, so as I say, always come down nice and slowly, a bit like a bee landing on a, and just have a little roll around, just stretch while you're down here. Just see what your body wants to do. Oh, what's it telling you? Is that spine waking up? Is your shoulders relaxing a bit? I'm going to do one more pose for the shoulders and the neck. So first of all, then, as we arrived, feet close to the bum, buttocks, push through the fronts of your feet, which takes your head back, which takes your back, back, rest your hands on your forehead, press through the feet, which makes the hips a bit lighter, press through the back of your head, head makes the shoulders a bit lighter. You nuzzle your shoulders into the ground. Maybe just stroke the eyes, the face, the head. Breathe in, let the arms float up in the air. Again, so we're gonna do something just for the neck and the shoulders before we finish. Hands up in the air, cross the hands over the, let the hands flop down either side of the shoulders. So we're gonna do the eagle pose just a little bit. So as I say, the hands come up in the air, then they just gently fall up so that you're holding a shoulder with one of your hands. Then we're gently going to let the hand, the backs of the hands, the arms, the backs of the heart, the arms and the hands come together. And we're going to look for that clasp of the thumb with the other hand. Perhaps you should, probably should have watched me to do this if you're not sure what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is flopping, turning the backs of the arms and the hands to each other off the, yeah, off you, off you. Sorry, I should have said this off. Away from your face. And then just rest your hands on your forehead. Breathe, let the earth breathe into you. And as it breathes out, it falls away. And you stay connected to the earth connected to your body, and then just gently let go, holding like that, just keep holding the body, just clasp yourself, holding yourself, then just float the arms up, and change hands, so they cross the different way, give yourself a bit of a hug, Breathe in and out. And then when you're ready, breathe in. And as you breathe out, the arms just come away from the, from the clasping. And then looking for them. To be able to hold. Thumb for the other hand, and we rest on forehead. You can also raise a leg up in the air, 
and then just fold it over the other leg. So you cross it on the legs as well as the arms. Breathe in and out, perhaps crossing the top leg. And then we're gently going to let go, nice and slowly and steadily. Perhaps resting your hands on your belly. We'll just finish this practice by resting. You might want to push your feet away, say keep connected, heels through the ground. You might want to let go of your hands so they flop by your side. Just check your neck is okay. You're not scrunched up or your neck is loose. Throat is open. Got a sense of openness in the throat, back of the neck. Let the earth breathe you in. The earth is breathing all into your body. Cosmos is breathing down into you. And as the earth breathes, let's go. It just falls away, but you stay connected to the earth. Connected to your core, all up and down the length of your body. And then just relax, let go. And And you can stay here as long as you like. Just relaxing. I know it's about half past now, I think. I've oh, got that long done. Just half past. Sorry, that was a short relaxation, guys, but yeah, you can carry on relaxing if you want. I'm just going to stay here till we get switched off. If anybody wants to say anything, they can. <laughs>